inside the old North Church, below the historic pews, in a dark and confined basement, lies a crypt with 37 tombs. On Tuesday, archaeologists opened the door to tomb number 12 for the first time in more than 100 years. When we opened up the tomb, we saw about 20 caskets in there. We didn't touch anything inside the tombs. Uh, we just uh, left uh, the deceased uh, resting in peace. Removing the door and getting a good look inside is part of a major restoration ahead of the church's 300-year anniversary. Uh, one of the more interesting things we saw on there lying on top of one of the caskets was a page from the Bible and it happened to be from Luke 24 which is the resurrection story. Between 17 and 1800, 1100 bodies passed through these tombs, including some well known throughout history. A major John Pitcairn uh, who was the in command of the British Marines during the occupation of Boston, and Captain Samuel Nicholson, the first captain of USS Constitution, and Dr. Timothy Cutler, uh, who was the founding rector here, who is actually the third rector or president of Yale College. Every day, visitors from all over the world walk the crypt's narrow hallways in guided tours and learn about its history. And the hope is to continue this work to not only preserve the church for hundreds of years to come, but to make its crypts more accessible as well. So we're stewards of this. This is a very precious icon for our nation. In Boston, Katie Thompson, WCVB News Center 5.